John Draws here again, coming to you from Macomb Square Music, Macomb, Illinois. This video is going to be about what to do with some different paradiddles on the drum set. Uh, I had a video previously called More Paradiddles. I went over double paradiddles and paradiddle diddles. If you don't know what those are, you should watch that video first. In this video, I'm going to show you kind of how to use those kind of rudiments on the drum set. Let's get right into it. Uh, last lesson I told you about the double paradiddle, sometimes called the para paradiddle. Para para diddle para para diddle. It's kind of what that sounds like on the drum. Now I'm going to add one extra accent to it. I'm going to go bop bop in the right hand like this. makes a great groove. I'm going to play exactly that. I'm going to put my right hand on the right cymbal, left hand on the snare drum. I'm playing just that exactly. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of bass drum to that too. Just to kind of fill up a little bit. A little hi-hat stick in there also. Same groove, works very well, same thing on the hi-hat. For me, that's like the number one way that I use double paradiddles, also called the paraparadiddle, on the drum set. Different variations of them work kind of the same way. It creates kind of a similar groove. Yeah. As far as fills, I mean occasionally I play without thinking of it. Or I'm just playing triplets by putting a double stroke in one of the beats. And I kind of am playing some kind of paradiddle, but I'm not really thinking about I'm um, playing a double paradiddle. Uh, going on to my favorite part, the paradiddle diddle. Again, from the other video, paradiddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left. These are one of my favorite things to play on the drum set. Again, it's an easy rudiment to play. The notes come out quickly, and just a lot of fun to play. Usually I play it like as a fill. Here's the first way we're going to talk about. I'm going to be playing in 4-4 four, four time. I'm going to play as that 16th notes. So 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4. I'm going to play a bar of time and then a bar with a little paradigm little groove here. Here's what it sounds like. It's real easy to move that note around. Hitting tom, cymbals, different sound sources. Here's some examples right now. Again, you're only limited by your creativity. Sometimes I'll practice and hit the, this drum for a while, then this one, then back and forth, then a cymbal, and then, you know, you can come off all kinds of patterns. Once you have the bass pattern down, you can move it wherever you want to. And now here's one thing I love to play. I can play that same pattern, 
paradiddle-diddle, paradiddle-diddle, that makes one E and a two E and a three E and a four. The last guy has kind of stopped on four. But what I'm going to allow him to do is to play a paradiddle-diddle on count four as a six tuplet, which fits perfectly. It's six notes in the pattern, six tuplet has six notes. <laughs> What's going to be what I've been playing just faster on count four. Here's the pattern on just the snare drum. Same thing, but I'm gonna move those accents around. Here we go. One, two, three, Again, limitless variations I could do on that. Hitting hi-hat cymbals, crossing my hands over, all kinds of stuff I can do with that. Once I have the pattern down, I can move it around. Now, in some other video, there's other variations of the paradiddle diddle. I can put the two taps, on, for example, on the outside. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Here's that pattern as a fill on the snare drum. Now again, it's easy to move those around also. I can put those um, single notes. Wherever I want to. Here it is, moved around a little bit. I can put the two taps in the middle. Right, right, left, right, left, left. Here it is on the snare drum. One, two, three, Same thing. I can move those around however I want to. together in all kinds of different combinations. And I don't get honest way think I'm playing a paradiddle diddle, a backward paradiddle diddle, an inside paradiddle diddle. I kind of just, I play them. That's really the point of a lot of the things that I show you, is that I'm building a vocabulary of things I can play. Just like with my words, I can just talk without thinking about each word I'm going to say. Once these patterns become part of my playing vocabulary, my music vocabulary, I can just play them whenever I want to. I can just use them. So here I'm going to play some patterns with just different combinations of paradiddles. With singles and double strokes mixed up together. Here we go.
conceivable to play like a whole phrase of a solo, two measures or four measures, really just using that. I'll play a little bit of time, then we'll go into like a little, like a small solo in the song or something, maybe two measures, four measures, we'll see what happens. some ideas of different things you can do, different things you can try out on the drum set. Not just all right, left, right, left, right, left, fast as you can play. There's a lot of creative things you can do on the drum set. Uh, obviously what I've shown you today is not exhaustive. You know, you can try out all kinds of patterns, practice patterns to become comfortable. Then it becomes part of your vocabulary. Then you can use it at will on a song. Uh, so. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope I'm giving you something to think about, something else to play on your drum set. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Have a great day.